YouTubers. I don't know about you guys, but I am completely obsessed with watching people's haul and collection videos. So I just thought I would update one um, as well. These are, um, this is my sticker collection, all the stickers that I've kind of amassed um, over the past few months really for um, resin crafting. So let's get started. This first set of stickers um, actually came from Sweden, I believe, little puppy stickers. Very cute Halloween stickers, kind of like cartoony ghosts. Um, and there's some bats and spiders and things, and I really like this haunted house sticker, actually. It's really nice. Um, I didn't even really notice the haunted house one before. These are really cute. I haven't used many of them yet. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing stuff with that now that I'm making Halloween stuff. Uh, here are some more Halloween stickers. These ones are cute. They're all holographic. Um, these came in a trade set, actually, that came with a custom My Little Pony for a Halloween swap. And the pony was actually inspired by these stickers. So I have a custom pony that's got, like, the owl and pumpkin and candy buckets and things um, designed after these stickers on it. So the stickers match. I think that's really cute. Some more Halloween. Can you tell? These were organized. Now my stickers are kind of all over the place, but just happens to be that I have Halloween ones on top. Anyway, these are Mary & Co. Mary Englebright stickers. I'm assuming they came from Michael's. I think they came out last year. I'm not um, a huge Mary Englebright fan, but I really like her Halloween stuff because it just really looks like vintage Halloween decorations, which I love, especially things like this cat right here, this owl. Um, and I'm a big fan of crows and ravens are like my favorite, so I really like that one. So and the bows. This will be a really fun set to play with. I just found these while I was reorganizing stuff at work, so I'm not sure what they were doing there, but that's where they were. More Halloween. These stickers are all from Michaels. Um, they're glow in the dark. They're from Creatology. One of the resin pieces in the last video that I updated actually used one of these stickers from here. And I am a very big fan of them. They're really cute designs. They're very clean, so they're good for resin. Um, very bold designs. And they glow exceptionally well in the dark. Look how cute is that little werewolf boy. Um, but even, you know, the things like the stars could be used whenever, and they do have very strong glowing power. So I really like those. This set is actually one of my favorite sets of stickers that I've ever gotten. I've only used one of them so far. These also came from a friend in Europe. Um, and they're Halloween glitter. You can see they're actually fabric stickers. Um, so they kind of have floating issues because of that when you use them in resin, but they're beautiful. They're black with silver and iridescent glitter on them. And they're just amazing. This little Grim Reaper guy, bats, skulls, tombstones. I love skulls, and I especially love black glitter or pewter glitter skulls. I don't know why. I'm obsessed with them. So those stickers are my favorites. Here's a set of um, sticker fetty tiny little cats. These came from Walmart. Um, I am a cat lady. So I have cat stickers, but I really just wanted to find, I mean, you can see they're smaller than my fingernail. They're about the size of my pinky fingernail. They're very small. So I thought they'd be good for earrings or doll jewelry, just really tiny little resin pieces, but they're very cute. Little colorful cats. This one's not going to show up very well on camera because they're super holographic. Um, these came from Target. They had a bunch of Justice League stuff over the summer, which I was super excited about. I was not excited that they made all the Wonder Woman stuff pink and purple instead of blue and red and gold, as she's supposed to be. I decided she was a girl and so she needed to be pink. But other than that, these are really fun. They're just super holographic. I have two sets of these stickers, actually. I found this set online, um, and as you can see, there's quite a few of them missing. And then a friend actually sent me 
Um, I'm not sure where this one came from when I bought it online, and then I guess they had them in the sticker doodles at Target. Um, and the reason that I bought this set was because it has really cute hedgehog stickers. I actually have pet hedgehogs. I have two. So whenever I find stickers with cute hedgehogs on them, I have to have them. So that's why I have two sets of those. This set is really cute. Um, these are balloons. They have a lot of gold on them. The little zeppelins are cute. I believe these were a sticker doodles too. They have this little bear and then it looks like he's kind of trying to be Rubakuma. But these were, I just really liked all the glitter on them and hot air balloons are very cute. So. Oh, those aren't stickers. Some cute dinosaurs because, you know, who doesn't like dinosaurs? I haven't. I made a cell phone case with some of these, but I haven't really done much else with them. I thought I would make some dinosaur resin pieces at some point. I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, they are translucent, so as you can see, my finger leaves, you know. So I would have to find a way to either put something dark behind them, uh, I mean something opaque behind them, or make sure I didn't use crazy glitter colors, because otherwise you see straight through them. But those are cute. Um... And then there's actually the zoo animals in kind of the same line. Um, the foil outlined kind of cartoony stickers. These came, these all came from Target. I really like the parrot, actually. It's very cute. Little elephants. Cute animals. Can't go wrong there. Got some sea animals. These are from Sticko. I've used a couple of the fish and plants and bubbles from this set. Um, I really like these stickers. I'd like to get another set of them. Um, I use the fish and fish tank ones, and the bubbles just are really good background filler, so those are really nice. These, goodness, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. These are those little, I think they're sandy lion, yeah. Those little felt fuzzy stickers, little velvet stickers. They're very small. I don't know how well they would hold up to resin. These were a gift from someone. Um, they're cute. I'm sure I can find something to do with them. I'm sure some of you have probably seen these. These are Alice in Wonderland stickers that are just adorable. They're really cute. Um, they're like thick epoxy stickers. Um, there's really teeny tiny ones and bigger pieces, um, and they're just Alice in Wonderland. The teacup one is probably my favorite, but little macarons, cards, lots of little filler stickers, donuts, things like that. Um, little book. So these are all really cute. I love that set. I bought a bunch of Alice in Wonderland stickers at some point when I was working on gifts for someone who really liked Alice in Wonderland. So here's some cute Hello Kitty stickers. These are glitter epoxy stickers. They're very cute. Nighty night we friend sweet dreams for you. So they're candy and then like dream themed. And it's Hello Kitty and her teddy bear. So those are all very cute. Here are some sticko stickers. These are just sweets, ice creams, cupcakes, things like that. They're glitter stickers. They're really nice. Um, they're, again, they're not quite opaque. They're a little translucent, so you do have to be aware of that when you're crafting with them, but very nice. Oh, these were actually, hmm, these are denim fabric stickers um, that I bought on clearance from somewhere, but they're from Korea. They're actually denim fabric, and these have little pink hamsters on them. Those were just sweet. Here's the stickers I got really excited about in Dollar Tree, because how cute is that? Really cute little octopus. I made a piece in my last resin update with those. Just cute little sea animals. They're puppy stickers. Little sea turtle. Those are cute. 
here are some more Alice in Wonderland stickers from the time I bought like all the Alice in Wonderland stickers on the internet. Um, as you can see, there's quite a few of them that have been used already, but I'm probably going to buy a couple more sheets from this designer. You've probably seen these and um, some of the other fairy tale ones as well that are from this same line, the same artist, because they are just precious. They are beautiful. These are Korean as well, so I'll look into getting some more of those. Um, here's some hedgehogs a friend of mine sent me and some epoxy mushrooms. The hedgehogs are fuzzy, so I don't think I can really use them for resin, but the mushrooms are cute. Here are some, these are actually, these are really neat. These are vintage My Little Pony stickers. Um, I got them and they were, they were puffy stickers, but the backing on them was all, like they had foam filler in them and it had gotten all like rotten and mildewy and really disgusting because they looked like they had been wet at some point. So I just peeled the backs off of them and they're just the plastic front parts. So I've got some really cute vintage ponies that I can do stuff with. I've done some resin stuff with those um, and they work out pretty well. Here's some more puppy pony stickers, T3 ponies. I haven't used any of these for resin. These again were found um, when I was cleaning. I forgot that I had them, but they're nice. There's some cute ones here. I'm not a huge fan of the G3 pony art, but I'm sure I can do something with those. Here's some more G3 pony stickers. I have quite a lot of G3 pony stickers um, because these ones... They are all the same stickers, just different colors. Um, these were pretty easy to find for a while, so. Here are these super cute food stickers. I love food with smiley faces, what can I say? The little blueberries. These again are um, the foil, um, like the silver foil backed ones. So those are very nice. I love the little cupcake strawberries. Super cute. Here's some really nice hearts. You can't really tell and get them really up close like this. But they have like plaid and polka dots and chevrons. And these are, again, they're translucent, so you have to keep in mind what you put behind them. But these are really beautiful little epoxy stickers. Some letters. I'm running low on letters from this set. I've been using these a lot. Um, they're just cute little epoxy sticker letters. Cake! This set I haven't done anything with these yet, and that's a shame because these are absolutely beautiful epoxy stickers. These really cute birds. I love the colors these are in. Peacocks, um, things like that. And then there's just little, little gems and, and accent stickers and things, but these are really nice. I love this, this peacock one right here. I just haven't found anything to do with them yet. There's some, oh, there's some stickers stuck on that sticker. There's some sandy line flower glitter stickers. Nothing fancy there, came from Goodwill. Candy corn. These are just really cute glitter, holographic glitter candy corns. If you know me, you know that I am obsessed with candy corn because my cat, because I'm a crazy cat lady, my cat really likes to eat candy corn, um, which we discovered soon after I found her. So I love everything candy corn because it reminds me of my cat. There's some cute sticko sock monkeys. These were actually supposed to be sent to someone in a package and I forgot. Whoops. I got one of my giant um, My Little Pony stickers left. I just have Celestia left. I have a couple of sheets of these left. These have been pretty uh, picked through. I made a ton of pony, uh, pony pieces for the My Little Pony Fair this year. That's what the sheet looked like when it was new. I've gone through about three sheets of these now. But these are really nice um, designs. Really nice little epoxy stickers. These came from Target a few years back. Just some little rainbow hearts. Nothing fancy. 
Here is some cute Monster High stickers. I really like that um, they're heart shaped and I'm probably going to make a few more with these because um, they fit really nicely in my heart shaped molds. So those are nice. These are Sticko, I think. Cute little cats and dogs. These are just, oh, they're just, they're ridiculous in how cute they are. I love them. Some more Hello Kitty. These are nice. And um, these are some more Korean um, kitty stickers. And they're really thick epoxy stickers. Um, and they're all cooking themed. I love to cook, so I had to have them. These are really, really nice. I've had a couple of packets of these um, Hello Kitty dressed up as animals because how can you not love Hello Kitty dressed up as animals? Some of the Hello Kitty circus stickers. Those were from her circus set that she had at Michael's, I believe. And then I've got a bunch of the Easter. Um, a lot of these are from around Easter. These are the hard puppy stickers. They're really like hard plastic but they're cute we've got all the little easter eggs and candy here's glitter versions from that same collection come in a couple of different colors easter eggs hello kitty donuts very cute colors very glittery um i've got a couple of sheets of these um they're like holographic gold foil stickers they're kind of the fashion theme. I love the one with glasses. That's my favorite. And then my last sheet of Hello Kitty stickers. There's two sheets in here. Um, these are just epoxy stickers. Lots of hearts. Hello Kitty with her teddy bear and like, different expressions and things. So those are really cute. Anyway, that was probably a really pointless video for most people. But I just wanted to share my collection. Um, because sticker collections are awesome. So, thanks for watching.